Remembering the five things to negotiate in Ike Phase 1. For an IPsec tunnel, there's five specific things that need to be negotiated and agreed to before the IPsec tunnel build can continue. In this micro nugget, I'm going to give you a very easy way and fun way to remember each of those five items. Let's jump in. IPsec is a great way to implement a site-to-site -site tunnel. For example, we might have ASA1 and ASA2, and they want to secure all the traffic between the 10.0.0 network and the 10.2.0 network over the internet. Using IPsec, we can certainly do that. Part of negotiating and building that tunnel involves something called an Ike Phase 1 tunnel. And the details of the Ike Phase 1 tunnel are that you have to have five specific elements and they need to be agreed to in some fashion between the two peers. And so a great way to remember the five specific things that have to be agreed to by these two devices, we use the keyword of haggle. Like we're going to go and haggle. Well, what does haggle represent? H-A-G-L-E. If you remember that, at least you'll be able to get the ones that you remember based on the letters. So let's take a look at each one. The H is for hashing. The hashing algorithms are used to verify data integrity. Popular hashing algorithms would be, for example, MD5 and SHA. The A is for authentication. And that represents how do we want to make the other device prove who he is. We can do authentication with something like digital certificates. We can do authentication with something called pre-shared keys. And either way is fine as long as they both agree to the method they're going to use to authenticate each other. The G is for group, which represents the Diffie-Hellman group. Diffie-Hellman was named after the two gentlemen who wrote the protocol. And what it allows ASA1 and ASA2 to do is generate secret keys that they can use with each other to encrypt and decrypt data respectively. The L is for the lifetime. How long should this Ike Phase 1 tunnel stand up? Should it be a day? Should it be an hour? The shorter the lifetime, the more secure it's considered. Why? Because if it gets torn down after an hour, it has to be rebuilt. We're going to have new king material because of new Diffie-Hellman, and the whole thing will be more secure. So what's the lifetime? The default on a Cisco router on a site-to-site -site tunnel is one day for the Ike Phase 1 tunnel. And finally, we have the E, and that's for encryption. What type of encryption algorithm do we want to use? Do we want to use AES or triple DES or some flavor of AES like AES-256? And these are the five elements that these two devices have to negotiate for Ike Phase 1. Now with Ike Version 1, there's also a Phase 2, and that's a second story. But I want to give you the five specific things, hashing, authentication, group, lifetime, and encryption method that the two are going to need to agree to during Ike Phase 1 if they're going to be IPsec peers. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.